student. This was like all collective, this part. You might need to just spend over $3. Hey everyone, it's me. So today I'm going to be doing a haul of everything that I bought in Sweden and London. And it's almost everything. There's a couple things that I bought that were, like, that I gave some people already. And I'll probably mention those at the end. And then I obviously spent money on food and ice cream when I was out with friends. And yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoy. And um, I'm sorry that my cat is in this part. Hopefully she doesn't decide to be in everything else, but lots of stuff has been going on in my life. Um, I hope that you guys enjoy, and let's just get started. Okay, so we're going to start with like one of the most expensive things that I got while I was there. And you guys were all wondering if I had fun or not. Yes, I had fun. Um, this was one of the most expensive things that I bought, like one piece of clothing at this store called Bray. Description box, if you guys want to look there. And it's called, um, the website is called www.miinto.se slash break and they have the best, best clothing in the whole entire world it's a little bit on the pricey side I got was this dress a little bit un, um, over a hundred dollars like more like a hundred and ten dollars um, but it was actually 700 kroners if you were wondering and it just looks like this and I'm in love with this. You guys are probably going to see this in a video sometime. It is extremely That's just a really nice evening maxi dress, which I really like because it's comfortable and it's not too low cut to the point where it's like stripper status. So by the way, if you guys wanted to know, um, any places I went to that I went to, um, I did go to these places multiple times. H&M, they have the cutest purses in the whole entire world. Um, and I always like buying purses in Sweden because I was, I'm was i more prone to spending my own money. And these were so cute and they were on uh, sale. And this was 75 kroners and it just hooks in like that and then it, you know. And it's white and it's super nice because I can fit my phone and my wallet and, and like maybe some gum and some like miniature perfume that I, you know, fit. And it's really pretty because when I go to special events and... I don't want to get pickpocketed. This is like a really good one because this clasp is really hard for a normal person and a pickpocketer to open. So the next place that I went to was called um, Cathal and it just looks like, the bag just looks like this. And I buy a lot of my stuff on sale, but I first got this for 30 kroners, which um, if you guys want to know a currency, every, it's like about six and a half kroners to the dollar, so if you guys wanted to figure that how much that is in dollars, you just um, see how much you just multiply um, or divide 6.5 divided by however much I say it is, and, and then you'll get how it is in dollars. So I first, so then I got this bikini top, and it just ties up here and here, and um, this one doesn't have any push-up in it, and um, it's really comfortable, and it's a something E. Um, I think it's a 75E. I'm not exactly sure on the... It's like really hard to figure out my bra size there. But um, I, I know it's an E. I just don't know what the number was. So that's that. And then I got another... I got two other bikini tops. And you guys saw one of them on Instagram, which is this one. And this one is really cute and comfortable because it feels like not even wearing a bikini top, which might not be good because if it does come off then that would be kind of bad but it's just a triangle and I like it because it like I can cinch it and make it smaller at the bottom but I like it when it's big because it'll cover it all which is really great about it and it's just string so you, it's string so you can actually like tie it and it's not a clasp so if I need it tighter or if I need it like less tight then I just do that so the last one that I got was this and this is just a black bikini no push up once again and it just has this really interesting gold detailing, which is just the, the clasp, which is going to be really hard for me to do myself, but um, I'll figure it out. All you do is you just lock them in and then do that, but it's kind of hard to figure out. And this was also 30 The next place I went to was called um, Glitter, and this is so cute. I got this for, I think, 50 crooners. Um, it was also on sale. Everything I usually buy is on sale. And it's just really pretty. It's body jewelry, in case you guys are wondering. It was originally 180 but I got it for 50 And it's just body jewelry. If you guys want to know, it kind of works like a vest. It looks really cute on. And I'm just, I'm excited to just try out and see how I can make this look good. 
and I'm pretty sure and it's like a vest so it like goes like right here and um, it's just really cute I haven't touched or played with uh, like gone through any of this stuff and worn it so I'm really happy about that and then I also purchased these shoes from Dean School and they were 50 um, crooners and these were really good priced and they're just really cute and they're I'm in love with them you know in love and they're just really cute and they were definitely on sale and they have a little slight wedge to them not too much they're very like small heel for me so the next place I went to was called Yina Chuko or Chuko however I don't know they pronounce it differently wherever you live so then I went to so then I went to Yina Chuko and I just got this tribal print black and white uh, black and red skirt and it's really cute it's a bodycon I'm pretty sure bodycon skirt and um that was the front and this is the back and I really like it because it's super comfortable and it's long enough so it covers my butt so it just looks like this so the next thing that I got was this really cute dress and it definitely does emphasize um the chest a little bit too much for me so I'm going to be pinning it up one more time only because I don't really need that part emphasized so I'm just going to be doing one pin up only because I don't want everything like popping out. So um, it's just really cute and pretty and it's just really white, uh, white and flowy and this is pretty fabric and the best part is it has like a slip to a certain point and then it's a high low so it's, um, I kind of pulled up the back a little so you can't really see it as well as it would be so this is how it would be. And it's just really pretty high-low and very flowy and very pretty and nice for summer because the summer trend is black and white. That's also the, that was actually the spring trend too. And um, you guys probably have seen plenty of people wearing nice flowy stuff for so The next place that I went to was called Dean School and that's where I also bought the other pair of shoes. And I bought these ones and these are in my summer lookbook number one. And they're so cute. They're lace tie-ups and... They are just the cutest things, and they're espadrille wedges, and they're just to die for, to live for, whatever. And these magical babies, I still have not figured out what I'm going to wear with these, um, because they're so cute, but I want to figure out what I can wear with these, because they are striped, so that's like kind of, I have to remember that it is a more, like, this shoe is probably going to be the centerpiece of my outfit. So, the next place I went to was H&M, and... I just went there one and bought one thing, which is this little tiny donut, and obviously it's way too small for my head, but I purchased this for my little sister's hair because... So the next thing I got was this t-shirt. It's gorgeous, bright, and beautiful. I love the lace detailing on the pocket and on the shoulder um, sleeve area, and it's just really pretty. Then we went to BR, which is just like this toy store, and... We got these movies, and these are Swedish in Swedish, so um, they have they play it in Swedish, which I like personally because then I can actually listen to it. And there's some kid, there's two kid ones, and then two that are kind of like not kid, not like they're kiddish, but yet still not. So this one's a Swedish film called Pedersvansles, and then the other one is Mimintrolet, and um, I love these. These are my childhood movies. And then this is uh, the Smurfs, and it's Smurfina. And then it's uh, Romeo Ox Smurfina. And it has like a couple different episodes in this one. And it is in Swedish, which is really great because um, when you're in Sweden, you want to, you know, speak Swedish. Then Gustav, number one and two, which is Garfield. This I went to was a jewelry store. And I got a few, like two pieces of jewelry the first time I went there. And I just got. This really pretty um, gold, um, I don't know, it's just this, it's just really pretty gold, and I love it. It's so cute. It's really pretty. It's going to be kind of interesting to pair with things. And then I also got this gold and coral necklace, and it has coral stones. And the second time I went there, I definitely spent a lot more money, and um, I purchased a heck of a lot. So the first thing I purchased was just this bracelet, and it's a nude color with gold, um, like, or brass stuff. And then the next one is the same, and they, by the way, they have little buckles here. And it's pink and gold. And this one is a mint green and gold, or turquoise kind of mint green. 
and then a black and silver so it is silver instead of gold but um I don't think you can actually notice when they're in the mix because they all look the same so the next thing is just this black and white and this is black and white triangles and I just think it's so cute. Then I purchased another one and this is actually um lime or not lime like yeah like kind of a lime or like a limey yellow and it's just gold and it has triangles and it has little cutouts it has this and this is just really pretty because it has like the little studs and it's just gorgeous I mean, this like, one is just really pretty and cool because this is definitely more it's a little more edge to the actual outfit because it is very pretty and people notice it was just this really cute definitely a tiffany inspired type look and it just has this cute little like the stick that you have to take out and then you put it back in and it has a little bit of gems on these and then it has a little saying in swedish so and then i got this pastel triangle one because this is definitely a interesting piece because it looks like something that from the 80s but it 80s stuff is still is coming back in style which I didn't think it would but it is making a comeback the next place that I went to was another H&M thing I purchased was this one cost the most and this was for my little sister because she loved this dress and it is definitely very bright and neon and it's very pretty it's in my summer lookbook number one because I really wanted her to be in it so I figured if I got this for her, I could convince her to be in it. And if you guys want to see like the whole like actualness, it's really pretty. It's like crochet, and it has like a little elastic black band. And then for her, I also purchased a cover up because I didn't want her to look. Um, I don't know. I just I liked it. I thought it was cute, so I figured I'd get this for myself. I just purchased this T-shirt, and I'm thinking it's kind of like the other one except it's from a different store obviously and it's a different style because it is a it's a different style because it's like not a v-neck but it's not a scoop neck so I'm not exactly sure what this one would be called and it has like the lace sleeves once again and it's definitely a different fabric because you can see through it okay so the next thing I got was at H&M again because H&M had uh, sales everywhere but I just wanted to find the stuff that I liked and I actually was at this really fancy restaurant and this when I came back here and someone was wearing this dress and this is definitely a Snooki inspired like dress because Snooki and I we are gonna get married one day and have a bunch of Snooki babies oh wait she already has a baby that's Snooki inspired and this is also for my little sister and I got this for her mostly because she's like bad at spending her own money so I decided to spend my money on her and it says more and it's just really cute and it has like the little tie up whole thingies and stripes and it has a little amour written on it and it's really pretty and I just got like 20 kicks and um my phone's charging I'm on FaceTime with Jordan. The next thing that I got was for a friend and she has been my friend since I was in preschool. This is the thing that I got her and it's just a owl phone. I have to shake it. Okay. It's just an owl phone plug and it's just so pretty it's a little gem sparkly owl and my phone's my cameras I'm too lazy to focus. The next place I went to by the way that was accessorize and then I went to accessorize again another time I found this really cute necklace on sale and it just has an S that's bedazzled I don't know if you can see like that. that and I also picked one up in an M for my little sister. This one is this one and just a locket and it's really pretty. I really like it because it's a locket and has an S and a flower. So the next place I went to was Olean's and I just purchased this lipstick in Cream Coral. And this is just a Viva La Diva Absolutely Fabulous Lips lipstick and it's in Cream Coral for my makeup tutorial Orange Delicious edition. You know. Then I went to Olean's again a different time, a different city in Sweden and I picked up makeup. So I picked up from, they have East, they don't have Isidore where I live. So I picked up some Isidore. And I picked up these two um, eyeliners. They're liquid eyeliners. And this is in blue. 
and this is in green and expect a tutorial using these sometime eventually. Then I picked up this palette and this is just a five color palette and this was 50 crooners on sale and I got two and this one's in sun kissed. And the other one is in Naked Fresh. And I like this because it's very natural and neutral of colors. And I'm definitely looking forward to be doing a fun makeup tutorial. Not with these all in the same thing. But just in general, just doing a makeup tutorial. That would be so cool. So pretty. I don't know where some of my shopping bags did go from the other parts in Sweden. So if I come across them while I'm going through the rest of my stuff, then I apologize. But now I'm going to go into the other stuff that I bought in Sweden. So... Um, let's just get, or, I bought not, while well, I'm not in Sweden. So, I went to Topshop, and I actually have the bag, but I, they double bagged it for me. So, I have this bag also, it's just, um, I folded it, because it, it, I wanted to, like, hang it up or something. So, it's just sitting in this bag, because this one, I don't care about how crinkly it gets. They double bagged it, they double bagged it for me, because they realized that I was traveling, because I had a suitcase with me. And um, I was in Copenhagen for Topshop, and they just double bagged it because the, it's white and it might get dirty, so they were nice enough to do that. And so then I purchased, so the first thing, the first top I got was just this really cute lace, like white lace, and by the way, that is on the other side, whoops. So, um, white lace, and this is just so pretty. It's definitely more see-through, but um, it's really cute anyway. And it's really cute because the top is lace and then it goes into this white and it's just so pretty and I love it. Gorgeous. And this was about $50 um, in American. And then I picked up this second top the next that I was there again and I was just like, you know what, I want to buy one more thing. So I figured I would just pick up a random top that was on sale and this was 400 crooners um, in Swedish, no, a little more, little over 400, so then it was marked off because it was half off, and um, I just thought this was so cute because it does have this, and it's a little bit of a tummy shower kind of type of dress. Um, what am I talking about? So this one I do need a tank top under only because it does show my stomach, just a hint. I mean, it's kind of like that tasteful show. But, um, if I wear high-waisted shorts, it might look cute. But, um, yeah, and then the back just has this cute little detailing of this little hole. So, that is that, and I just thought these were so cute, so I decided to pick them up. That was my first time ever going into a top shop, or let alone buying something in a top shop. And it definitely did cost $100 originally, but then it went down. Then I only had to pay $50. So the next place I went to was called Harrods, and if you guys don't know of Harrods, they are a really fancy, expensive store. I was going to buy something there in another area, but I decided to just, I decided to just like get something little just so I had a Harrods, like say that I bought something in Harrods, you know? People, that's how they get you. That's how so many people buy stuff because they go there and they're just like, I just want to buy something. So I got this little like Hello Kitty, as you guys can tell, I'm kind of like, a little kiddish when I got this but it's just really cute it's just this necklace and this was definitely the cutest thing I've ever seen and I'm just gonna take it out of the packaging because I'm gonna wear it since I'm not wearing any jewelry right now I figured I can wear this one because it is just the cutest little munchkin thing ever so I'm just gonna wear it like that so it looks like a little pendant for me they're, they look like they're gonna be really pigmented good quality so you know, awful in the palettes because a lot of them seem to have lots of color choice, which will be great.